Well, what do you know? I have 100 subscribers. This is precisely 100 more than I ever thought I'd get. Wait, didn't I already do that bit? Ah, whatever. It's still true. Um, so as is customary for such times, I'm going to do something special. In this case, we're going to play 5 facts and a game. Uh, it's kind of like Je suis tagged, except without the part where somebody loves you enough to tag you. Basically, I'm going to give you the standard 5 facts about myself, and then I'm going to give you 3 more facts, uh, but one of those facts is going to be a lie, and it's up to you guys to guess which is which. Ready? Let's go. Fact 1. I survived meningitis. On my first birthday, I was really, really tired, and my folks figured it was because it was my birthday. I mean, I was the first child, grandchild, and great-grandchild of the current generation, so everybody made a huge deal out of the day. I had to have been worn out from all the extra attention, right? But uh, my dad is quite paranoid, so he took me to the doctor. The doctor said it was a cold, and that I would be okay in the morning. But my dad is really paranoid, so he took me to the hospital. And the doctor said that it was meningitis, and I would be dead in the morning. I mean, I had C-type meningitis. The rates of surviving that are 1 in 1,000, and nobody makes a fully functional recovery. Showed them. Fact number two. My first word was pantograph. The pantograph is the metal device on top of a train that connects the carriage to the overhead electrical wiring. Um, my dad is really into trains. Uh, he used to build them for a living. He currently has a pretty spiffy model railway set up in the loft. Um, I figures his words and enthusiasm would rub off on a younger version of myself. So, just out of nowhere, pantograph. Fact number three. Over the past year, I have lost a stack of weight. I have a secret, dear viewer. I was not always the beacon of raw sexuality and pure animal magnetism that you hear today. I used to be fat. Really fat. And one day I decided I'd had enough of this. Simply sitting around wishing I was thinner, it wasn't doing anything. So I figured I'd try the alternative. Doing stuff. Wouldn't you know it, routine exercise and eating better really does work. And as a result of that, I've dropped four stone, uh, it's 56 pounds for anyone who's into that, and lost about 10 inches off my waist. Feels good, man. Fact number four. I once made a video game for a friend. This summer, I found myself being quite bored and at a loose end. There was nothing to do. And one of my friends suggested, jokingly, mind, um, that I make a video game wherein she is the star, and she gets to try on beautiful clothing and then run around killing zombies. So that's just what I did. Um, the game was called Already Broken, because that was the first tune that came up in my random playlist. A uh, pretty bad move, I think, because my game could well have been called A Crimson Rose and A Gin and A Tonic if I'd failed my cool song role. But, uh, yeah. The game was set up in a boarding school, and it featured my friend helping ghosts and killing zombies. Uh, it was mostly comprised of narrative devices I'd thought up but had no idea how to use in a full story, so they all got stitched together here. It went over pretty well, if I'm honest. Um, so that was nice. Fact number five. I am an NPC in Anarchy Online. I have a friend who works at Funcom. Uh, I don't know what he does exactly. I mean, for all I know, his resume reads Hot Smexy Beast 2006 to present. But he is in such a position that he is able to name characters that turn up in the in-game world. He likes to mix up his friends' names and put those in the game as kind of a oblique shout-out of sorts. If you play Anarchy Online, if you've ever met Lieutenant Rebecca DeGos, she's one, uh, as is, I think it's Commander Erin Cutting. But the one I'm talking about, uh, in particular, there's one NPC called Andy. Just Andy, as far as I know. Um, you'll know him when you meet him, because he's the one NPC that's all alone, and who tends not to make a great deal of sense when you talk to him. Kind of a backhanded compliment, but good times nonetheless. How many other people can say they're in a video game? And now, 
the game. Here are three facts about me. One of them is a lie. Which one is it? Is it A. I like the smell of burnt matches, and my last girlfriend broke up with me because she likes the smell of petrol. Is it B. I am named after my great-grandmother. Or is it C. I wrote a computer program when I was four years old. Make your decisions in the comments. Answers coming up in a few days. So until then, goodbye.